everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am currently in Manchester at the moment on a little works trip. Excuse the lighting, it is awful. There's not much natural light and the actual light in the room is isn't the best. I wasn't actually going to film this trip and I probably won't be filming loads because obviously it is a work thing but I just thought I'd show you a little bit of a room tour and also the outside the views. Honestly it's just stunning. I love Manchester. I drove through yesterday it was a nightmare actually getting to the hotel car park. I could see the hotel driving but I couldn't find the car park and I was running out of battery. It was pretty stressful but we are so close to the city centre and you can see all of the shops and the tall buildings there's trams I just absolutely love it if you any of you live in Manchester or near Manchester wow it's such a stunning place I'll just show you what my view is so this is my view down here you've got bus stop which people are waiting for trams and then you've got all of these gorgeous high buildings just about to see there's a huge Primark here which I think me and another colleague are gonna have a look at after work today but it's just stunning and last night it was all lit up and it looked beautiful. It's not the best of days today. It's very overcast, rainy, dull, but I'm not gonna let that affect me. Most of it's gonna be inside today anyway. I thought I'd give you a really quick room tour. I have unpacked because this, I did stay last night, but I'll still show you. So as you come in, you've kind of got a wardrobe, a little station there for your hot drinks, kettle, not kettle, to why am I going to say kettle and toaster? <laughs> iron, ironing board, that's because I don't really iron so I probably don't even recognise it that's actually an iron. <laughs> um, and then you've got the bathroom, the bathroom is quite dated. This is the Mercia Manchester Piccadilly Hotel got a bath, shower, yeah it is it is quite dated um, and almost I don't know looks a bit grimy although I don't think it is I think it just looks that way because of how old it is and then walking through a little tv station you've got a desk and then a double bed the mattress is quite comfortable actually but i didn't get on with the pillows last night i normally bring my own and stupidly didn't this time um i was kind of tossing and turning all night but yeah this is the room so my plan for today is i'm going to go down for breakfast very shortly and then we have got a conference room booked um, this is technically today and tomorrow inset, but obviously because we're not a school, we don't actually have a premises. So this is why we're meeting here. So yeah, a little bit of training happening today. It's actually about our mental health, which I think is really lovely that, you know, it's not just about the children. It is also about our mental health. And then I think tomorrow we're finishing around 3.30. I don't think there's a set time today. We do have a two course lunch included. And then also we've got a meal credit to use this evening. And then I think when kind of all work is done, me and a coll another colleague, and obviously if anyone else wants to join us, maybe have a little walk into the city and also go into um, Primark. I did actually go into the city yesterday. I didn't actually quite realise how close it was to our hotel and I think driving was, yeah, probably about 10 times the length of what it would have been to just walk. But 
hey ho you le- you learn don't you i didn't know so yeah i went into the town yesterday i didn't buy too much i went to a shop called i think it's pronounced it sostrine oh my goodness i was literally like a child in a candy store I loved it. It's all kind of home, crafty bits. There was Christmassy stuff. It was just lush. I'd say it's a shop where everything was relatively well priced, but then you put so much in your basket that actually it all mounts up. And I did spend quite a bit, a lot more than what I wanted to. Yeah, I don't have it in my room. I left it in my car only because I had all my bags to carry up. So I will probably show you what I bought when I got home. And I also did buy an item from... Have I got the bag here? Um, oh, yeah, I do. I did get one item from... I think you pronounce it as Unique Clo. I've only ever seen this shop in London and I just bought a really lovely plain cream like a flannel cotton sort of shirt but it's really feminine it's kind of gathered at the back it's, it's just lovely it's a really really lovely fit i think it's slightly longer at the back than what it is at the front yeah and it's just lovely quality and i don't own anything like that i've got a check shirt i bought from primark but i don't own anything like that and yeah it just feels really lovely quality any other shops that i see um I will film. So I am back home from my little trip to Manchester. I have to say, I absolutely love Manchester absolutely love it it has such a lovely atmosphere i did go into the shop that i wanted to go into and that is sostry i think that's how you say it sostring greens i think that's how you pronounce it so i did go a little bit crazy i did buy quite a lot but my reasoning behind that is that i don't live in manchester there isn't one near me and there's not a lot you can order online there are some bits but most of it is in store. So that was my reasoning behind that. So I thought I would show you what I got. Um, if you're not already cozied up with your favourite drink of choice, make sure you are because this is a good one. I have got an oat milk caramel latte today, ice caramel latte, minus the ice. It's really, really nice. Uh, right, a lot of this is in bags i think a lot of these items actually have prices on them which is very handy for me considering actually there's a huge receipt and i think it would take me an awful long time to find the uh, the amounts so i got i did get two of these i'm not sure where the other one is but they are like cookie molds or cake molds this one is a little christmas tree And it's a silicone one, so they're fantastic. Put them in the oven, uh, the dishwasher. So yeah, these are really good. And this one was £1.36. Right, this is in no particular order, so I'm just gonna start putting this stuff out. I found these, it is like felt, rolls of felt. But they look really, really good, really, really good quality. I'm not sure how big they are. It doesn't oh, 30 centimeters by 42 centimeters. These were one pound 12p each. I got them in this gorgeous forest green color, and then this snowy sort of white color. My plan is to do quite a bit of crafting over 
kind of like the winter months leading up to Christmas. I just love crafting and there was quite a lot of bits in there that gave me inspiration for crafting as well. I got this silicone mould in the snowman. This again was, oh actually, I'm not sure if that is mould. This was £1.36. I thought it was really cute. I quite like it now as well. So you shop, the lady scans everything and then they've got like a little area where you can actually wrap all your bits up yourself, which I thought was a really nice touch. This was pound thirty-four, and I thought this would look amazing on my little hot chocolate stand to put maybe some flavoured syrups in. I just thought that was really cute. I think I got two. Yes, got two of those and they are glass as well. I bought this now. The lady did say, oh, have you ever tried this before? And I was like, oh no, I don't live from this area. You get eight of these and they are chai lattes, but pumpkin spice flavour. And I just thought these sounded absolutely delicious. These were £3.34, so a little bit on the steeper side. But I've not seen anything like this in the shops. So I just want to give it a go. I've not actually tried one yet. This bag has, I've been home now. It will be six days today. And I've not touched this bag. I've been so good. I've kept it intact. I ain't taken anything out. So it was all like packaged up, ready to go for you guys. Yeah, I found these sprigs. How much were these? £2.44 and you get four. Well, there's four in that one. But there's six in that one, two, four, and there's six in that one. So maybe there's another two in the bottom of the bag somewhere. But I really, really like these. I just thought that maybe I could make some form of a garland or something. Gorgeous Christmassy colours as well. I saw this by the till. I've never, ever owned one of these. And I asked how much it was and I thought it was a really good price. £2.89 and it's a proper cheese knife. I've never ever owned a cheese knife. 45, never owned a cheese knife, but so I got that. Really good quality again. I quite like the wooden handle. And then I bought this. Now, you know, like when you go to like the winter markets and they always sell crepes. Um, I've always seen them use this tool. And then when I saw this, I thought, you know what, I'm actually gonna get this because I think this is the secret to making a perfect crepe. Is it crepe or crepe? Either one. And this was £2.20. It comes with a little spatula, but then have you seen this before where they kind of like twist it round and then make the crepe a lot like wider and obviously you can make it a lot thinner. So I thought that would be really, really useful. And I've never, ever seen that in a shop before don't have the price on this but I think this was two pounds something it is metal on an outline of a Christmas tree and I think my plan is to maybe wrap something around this maybe lots of different colors I'm not too sure but that will be um, some Christmas crafting that I can do I will link below I did a autumnal crafting video with you guys I did decoupage using uh, napkins so I found these and I thought these would be perfect for making some Christmas decoupage maybe on a chopping board or something really really love the print and sure these were like one pound or just over a pound I got some fatter knitting needles I think these were, oh, there is a price, £1.44. Again, for some Christmas crafting, not too sure what yet. These were £1.72 and they are real dried. I don't know what they are, actually. don't actually know what they are, but they're dried something. 
and they're on these little kind of metal bendable sticks so i thought that was good one pound seventy for those to get another pack of those and then i did ask the lady if they had any pumpkin ones but sadly they didn't but these are the coffee what do you call them stencils that's it so you've got rainbow with love a nice leaf a shell that one and that one and i just thought these were a really really good idea these were 92 pence i got some christmas gift tags i did buy another pack as well where are they there so i bought two and i thought you can almost layer so put like that on top of the cream or the red and then the green maybe on top of the green or the red so that was £1.36, which you get 16 in there. And then these, doesn't say how many actually, but these were £1.20, oh, 20, £1.24. I thought they were really cute. And I quite like the idea of overlaying. I got this, which is obviously like for smoothing out your icing on a cake. This was £3.30. Don't own anything like that. So I thought that'd be really handy to have. And then I did treat myself to what looks like a very, very Christmassy jam. I think, think this company, I'm sure somebody told me they are actually German. But when I walked around, it did very much feel almost like I cut kind of like a mini Ikea. But this writing, I'm sure this is in German. It's a Christmas jam. I'm not really sure what fruits are in it. Does it say in English? Oh, it does actually. Oh, I've got to move. Uh, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, red currants, black currants cranberries so it sounds really really delicious £2.76 but yeah I'm intrigued to try that a nice Christmassy jam and then I found these apple flakes but they're actually strawberry flavour I thought these would be delicious to either have on like a kind of like an apple cake on top of the like frosting or just to nibble on £1.22. Quite intrigued because they're apple but strawberry flavour. Ribbons for winter. Two different greens and a red colour. Does it say how much? No, I think I think these are around about like 90p or a pound, something like that. I thought they were really, really lovely. Gorgeous colours as well. I got some rhubarb rocks. I love rhubarb. I'm presuming this is rhubarb and custard. £1.24. Just love the kind of like old fashioned packaging. I also bought some of these. I don't know if you remember having these when you were younger, but they're like mint, sort of mint chocolatey mints, if that makes sense. These were 82 pence. They're the mints, you know, that have got like chocolate. You suck through and then it's kind of like got chocolate in the middle. They're really, really good. I've not had those in years. And for my granddaughter, so I picked up quite a few bits for her for Christmas or her birthday because her birthday is the end of November. I got these two finger paints. They didn't really have... This might have been the only colours they had, actually. I know they didn't have many colours. These were £1.90 each and I just thought that would be really nice. Just finger paints are just so easy. I got this for myself. This was 53p. I thought it would be good just for mixing up like small amounts of paint. And then they had quite a lot of wooden kitchen things. So I got quite a few bits for my granddaughter. This was £2.58 and it is a little bottle of detergent. It's wooden. So cute. 
I got her this really cute little car. This was £2.66 and it's one of the ones where you can think rev backwards. But I thought that was adorable. A little beetle. A cute little biscuit. How much was this? Uh, £1.98. I did make her a kitchen last year um i'll link that below as well it was absolutely gorgeous i got it cheap off facebook i completely redid it and it was a gorgeous kitchen i'm so chuffed with it still to this day so i did she did have quite a few bits last year and i wanted to add to it this year i got a cute little loaf of bread this was three pound 82 a lemon and this was £1.98. A little bottle of hand soap. I thought it was sad, really. I thought it'd be nice if it worked. You could push it down, but you can't. But yeah, I thought that was really cute. That one was £2.18. And then also a cleaning detergent bottle. These are just so cute. £2.72. And then a little oven mitt, teeny tiny one. This one was 98p. It's so cute. I got a little ruler for myself just to take along me for work. This is only 90, 96p and it's quite handy one actually. It's like triangular. So I just thought it'd be quite good and like small to take around with me. I got this really gorgeous stamp. This was 94p, really love that. I thought this would be really nice in like a dark green or even just black. And then I did get another paintbrush as well, but um, I've taken it out of the bag. These were really dirt cheap. A little rubber to keep with me at work, 22p. It's ridiculous prices. And then I got a load of lollies for my kids. They've already scoffed half them. All these lollies were like 10p each. But yeah, that's everything I got from Sostring Green. Absolutely love that shop. I could have just spent hours just wandering around. And it's very much like a TARDIS. You go in, it looks very small from the outside, but the way they weave you in and out around the store, I think that's what made me feel like it was kind of like an Ikea kind of shop, just the way you're moved around the shop. And it's like a TARDIS. It's, the shop just seems to go on and on and on. And when I was walking around, I was just enjoying the shop so much. I kept thinking to myself, God, where's, when is this shop going to actually end? But yeah, I picked up some lovely pieces and some really nice gifts for my granddaughter. Yeah, and I just had a lovely time in Manchester. Went out for a meal with all of the people that I work with. And yeah, it was just really, really lovely. And I do love going away and having a couple of nights in a hotel. I just find it quite exciting. So yeah. If you're not already subscribed, hit the sub button below, give this a really big thumbs up and also hit that notification bell. That way you will be notified every time I upload. Take care everybody and I will see you really soon in the next one. Bye.